I've been working on me, I've been loving on me, I had to learn. Hey y'all, welcome to Mama's Faithfulness, where we explore the warmth of family and the strength of faith. It is 4.06 a.m. And we're getting ready to start the day. I predict a nap later on in my day. That's what I predict. But in this vlog, we are being as productive as possible. Uh, if you watched my last vlog, then you know I started back working on a more consistent base. Um, I was working once a week, every Sunday. I'm now working Sunday, Monday, and Wednesday, which is still not too crazy. But in doing so, I want to make sure that I am being as productive as possible at home because my number one role in life is a wife and mommy first. So I am gonna start with some skincare. I'm gonna wrap my hair up. Nothing too special when it comes to that. Um, I'm debating, cause I am gonna do some skincare. But what I'm debating is if I want to get into my everyday makeup routine, my everyday mommy makeup routine or not. Because it's 4 a.m. And it's very possible that after I read my scriptures and send up my prayers that I might find my way back to the bed. Anyway, let's get into this skincare routine. Okay, skincare is done. And y'all have seen me do my skincare a many, many of times. So I kind of just, you know, sped through that. You know, no details or anything like that. Because I feel like I literally do my skincare in about 80% of my routine or um, more detailed form. So I always read Proverbs 31 first. So I just got done reading that. And the scripture that I really, really want to hone on, hone in on and meditate on today is, um, where is it? Nope, 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 nope. Hold on, y'all. It's here. It's here. Here it is. She rises also while it is yet night and give it meat to her household and a portion to her maidens. I just really like the scripture because it really puts into perspective that like a Proverbs 31 woman wakes up early to get things done. She ain't waking up at 11. She waking up at 5 a.m., 4 a.m. She's waking up pretty early. And then the one that I always, always love is that, um, she looketh well to the ways of her household and eateth not the bread of idleness. One of you guys asked to see my, my notes from Proverbs 31. Um, they're pretty basic. I mean, I like how it looks, but as far as like the details of the notes, um, this is when I first started Bible journaling. So I'm definitely, um, it's definitely time to go back and revisit proverbs 31 as far as bible journaling i want to have this all filled up i want notes in between the lines because as i stated and always state this is something that i meditate on every day before i actually get into my actual reading for the day so now i'm about to open up my bible app and um go over 
what I'm reading for this week. Okay guys, so it's 9.30 and I just got done organizing these cabinets here. Um, oh, and the, these two drawers. So, it's looking a little cluttered y'all, but I don't have much cabinet space. So what I've been doing is just getting rid of stuff. If you know, you know, I like to get cluttered very often. So I just got rid of um, some stuff that I feel like we really don't need. And so, um, I just moved everything to where i thought would be practical so right here i know it looks crazy y'all but um right here i have what do i have here i have glasses and mugs and then i also have alina stuff um because i find that i go to her stuff a lot and then over it used to be over here behind me in the cabinet behind me but i was finding that like it was really hard for me to get it like practically like, I would have to always get my step stool. I would have to stand on my tippy toes, call my husband. So I moved it here. So then also, right here, we just have, like, up top we have, like, just cups that, um, cups that we could use, like, if we were going outside the house that would need lids. And then we have plates and, and bowls. And then we have my mason jars. And then over here, guys, we have just like Tupperware which I probably could come in and put more stuff over here because this this cabinet looks very honestly it looks nice I wish all my cabinets could look like this but unfortunately we don't have that much cabinet space literally only have three cabinets but anyway now I'm just taking the dishes out the dishwasher washer and then I keep feeling like I hear Alina. So. Okay, guys. Okay, y'all, so Alina has waken up. Alina is up. So what I'm gonna do now is her hair. I got her dress, changed her diaper. Her water is boiling. So I'm gonna go ahead and do her hair for the day. So that's just what I'm gonna do right now. And you already know the products that I use on her hair. I only use two products. Um, Usually, whenever I do her hair, she's watching her favorite show, which is Baby Einstein. But she's not watching Baby Einstein right now. So, she's probably not the happiest. You're not happy with me? You need a little bib. So, back to doing her hair. Um, I guess, yeah, like, I, for if those of you who are, who are not new here, you already know what products I use, but I have been getting a lot of new subscribers, so, um, for those of you who are new, I use the Baby Don't Be Bald on her hair, and then I also use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Leave-In Conditioner. So, that's what I'm doing now, I'm just putting that on her hair. And she's gonna kind of not cooperate because she's trying to drink her bottle but i like to put it on her sides because that's her well i like to put the um baby don't be bald on her sides because that's her problematic area where she uh went bald because she sleeps on her sides and her back this cute little bow on her head And that is it. And then I'll get dressed a little later. Yep, that just happened. 
This is your reminder to go through your junk drawers and declutter, or just your drawers in general. Go through your stuff because I just found some elderberry drops. Um, Alina ran out a couple of weeks ago, actually, so she hasn't been taking this, and I found some that came from her baby registry, and it doesn't expire until May of next year. Then I also found some soothing heating gel which I'll probably give her more so at nighttime because I think it helps to promote like a good a good night's rest. Also, I found these little reusable food pouch bags. So I'm gonna make her some baby food today and I'm gonna put them in here. So yeah, y'all, check those drawers because you never know what's in them. Okay, y'all, so right now I'm just cleaning out the refrigerator a little bit. I am going to do a deep clean on the fridge, but I'm putting food in Tupperwares, getting, you know, taking pans out of the fridge because I hate putting pans in the fridge, but the reality is sometimes I get lazy and I will put pans in the fridge instead of putting them in Tupperware. So, putting the food in the Tupperware and then also getting rid of food that really just does not belong I think this is gonna be like my, what is this? Oh, Luna's leftovers, so that can go in the sink to be washed. But I think that's all the like leftovers. But I think I'm gonna use this area for leftovers. And then I'm gonna bring, okay, this can go in the trash. Okay. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring, Honestly, I could just take everything out of this fridge. Okay, y'all. So that's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> oh, I'll be all over the place. So I'm gonna just take everything out the fridge. Take everything out the fridge and do a deep clean. And then I'll put everything back in and I will let y'all see what it looks like once I do that. Okay, y'all. So the fridge is looking so much better. The top row is going to be like specialty drinks and whatnot with in eggs as well as condiments. Second row is going to be our fruit. Last row is going to be like leftovers and just like miscellaneous. And then we have vegetables, bread, dairy. And then over here, we just have our drinks. Um, we have bottled water, but we're starting to drink that room temperature. And then we also have our um, Stanley's, as y'all know. So if we do want it ice, we'll just put it in our Stanley's with some ice and the water. So drinks and then more condiments. Looks pretty good. It's not like super aesthetically pleasing, but it's clean. And that's all I really care about. Maybe when we move, I'll see about like if we move. Um, I'll see about like doing a more aesthetically pleasing refrigerator, but I've honestly tried that and I feel like the aesthetically pleasing refrigerators are really more so if you have a large refrigerator. Like those containers and stuff tend to take up more space than anything and then I'd be like, well dang, where am I going to put this and that? So for now, this is how it's going to be. Next, I need to wipe down counters and then sweep as well as clean out the fridge. And then I have to pull out this stove because it is like really gross. I can see like in the corner and the size that it's gross. But this is all the stuff that I got rid of as far as trash and stuff that we don't need. So yeah, and yes, we had Domino's the other night, don't judge. But we're back on it, <laughs> okay, per usual. Pretty girl. Okay, y'all. So now I'm just trying to find something cute but comfy to put on because I have done my heavy duty cleaning already. The kitchen is done. Um, all I have to do is laundry and then I wanna do like some learning with Lena once she wakes up from her nap. So right now I'm just trying to find 
something to put on i think i'm just gonna go with this simple nope i'm gonna wear this to work tomorrow let's go over here with the skirts i don't know i don't know i don't know okay let me bring y'all down here to this level um i just want something comfortable like i do have a skirt but it's not fringed and i'm also trying to make sure that like Whenever I record, I have on fringes, even though I'm in my house, I'm still, you know, showing myself to you all. So I'm trying to make sure that like, I come correct. So I think I'm gonna wear this little drawstring skirt today. And I think I'm gonna go with this top. Okay. Okay, y'all, so I just got done making Lena's little snack. Isn't it so cute? If y'all want to know how I made it, just um, check out my shorts. I'm probably about to upload it now, but it's just so cute. And then on the back, I wrote pears and apples, even though she's about to eat this, like, today. Um, this will probably be a little snack for her later. Um... Or it may be her lunch. I don't know. I'm still trying to get a feel for like what is an actual what an actual meal looks like for her and what a snack looks like. Cause I'm noticing that these purees they're not as filling as they used to be. She needs something a little bit more substance. So this will probably be a snack for dinner. She'll probably have like some oatmeal. Um, or I just might make. I have peas and carrots, so I might just make her like some peas and carrots. But I'm super excited for her to try this. I tasted it, it tastes so good. But anyway, I'm gonna show y'all the outfit of the day. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me bring well, let me bring y'all to the lot. Okay. Cause I ended up not wearing what I told y'all I was gonna wear. So I have on this green skirt. <laughs> and then I have on this tan top, tan hair wrap. Y'all know I did my skincare already, but no jewelry, just a necklace. We're chilling, but I have done pretty much all my tasks for today. I'm really trying to just stick to what's on my list. So I'm looking at my planner and I still have laundry that's in the dryer that I need to put up. But that's it. That's all I have to do today. So I'm going to be able to dedicate a lot of time to Alina. I just really like the fact that I didn't came up with a schedule and I think that it might work. So that means a lot more family time and a lot less stress. Y'all's niece is her. Hi, Teehees. Hi, mamas. Hi, pretty girls. You ready to get up from your nap? I got you a snack. Oh my gosh, babe. She cannot drink from that. And your big old arm is in the way. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is going to be the end of this vlog. Alina is up. I'm about to give her her little fruit pouchy, pouchy, fruit pouchy. Got it? There you go. She's sucking it. <laughs> She's so smart. She's had these before, by the way. She's just never had the homemade one, which is kind of big for her hand. But she tearing it up. Her little snack for the day. This is definitely a snack. This is not a full meal for her. She's getting to that point in life where baby girl be needing some consistency with her food, some substance. Is he good, Tuchishiki? Is he good? Okay, y'all. So, yeah, that's going to be the end of this video. I'm about to... She got this fruit pouch all on me. She's slobbering everywhere. I'm going to let that be the end of this video. Um, I'm going to spend some time with Alina since all my chores are pretty much done. Oh!
Oh my God, I need like something. A napkin. But <laughs> yeah, y'all. I will catch y'all on the flip side. Flip side in my next video.